and this has been my full-time income. Yay! Y'all clap for Lauren! Okay, so I think the blessing of our business is I was in Mary Kay for a year and still hadn't helped Lauren. Any y'all been there? Okay, so there's hope, okay, because um, everybody's story and journey is so different, and that's what I love so much about our company is I was in Mary Kay for a year, and Mom and I bought um, – Makeup at a discount. That's why I started was for 50% profit. Um, I was a pageant girl. I was doing all that kind of stage of my life. I went to school with Virginia. Uh, are you a year older than me? Did you graduate 98? Yeah, 98. Okay. And so when I started my business, this was not, I was going to be a school teacher. I had wanted to be a school teacher since I was a third grader. Like, always wanted to teach school. And so I graduated from Clemson. I started teaching. Um, and really, I knew before I ever taught that I would do Mary Kay full time. That this would be my thing. Um, my sophomore year of college is when I signed. My junior year of college, I earned my first car. But I went to an event, and I saw the big picture of Mary Kay. Have y'all heard of Career Conference? Yes? Okay, Career Conference is a company event in March. Have any of y'all ever been? Have you been? Yes, 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 yes. Um, and, of course, Lauren's been. But Career Conference sold me on the big picture of Mary Kay. So I can't give you a big picture of Mary Kay. I can try. Um, we can sell you on the opportunity. We can show you as much as possible. But when you see 500 women of all different ethnicities, sizes, shapes, colors, races, creeds, religions, uh, everything you can imagine, um, that you will see these women marching on stage. And, you know, when I say religion, I don't mean like, you know, they're Buddhist. I mean like somebody might be Baptist. And so you know what I mean. Like, but we can always pray at the beginning of career conference. And I thought, okay, well, that's interesting. And then, you know, these women are marching on stage, and then at the end, they're giving God the glory for their success, and they're making incredible income, and when the church needs a steeple, guess who they call? Those women. And to me, I just sat there going, oh my gosh, this is like for real. This is real deal, Mary Kay. These women are earning a six-figure income, and I'm going to make fourteen sixty-two a month forever as a school teacher. And so I came home from that event. I was a junior in college. It was March, my junior year. I signed in March of my sophomore year. And so I earned my first car on June 30th, 12 weeks after I left that event. And then 12 weeks later, I was a sales director with Mary Kay. So even though for a year I had been very slow moving, um, that's another thing we're going to talk about tonight is once you decide, you can move quickly. So it doesn't matter where you are today. So whether you're a sales director wanting to make a quantum leap, whether you're a senior consultant wanting to make a quantum leap, or you've been a DIQ before and wanting to make a quantum leap, a quantum leap is the same amount of work regardless of where you start. Are y'all with me? And so that's what we're going to go through tonight. Okay. All right. So real quick, I'm going to let y'all introduce yourselves. Um, so I'm going to kind of keep moving this around and I know it's a little annoying, but um, I do want the viewers to be able to see, sorry, see who y'all are um, in the room. So hopefully they can see y'all. Um, so I'm going to go first, Lisa, I'm actually going to let you start. So if y'all tell me your name, whose unit you're in and um, what you're excited, why you decided to come, why you're here. I'm Lisa, and I'm in Chelsea Hills Unit. Okay. In South Carolina. And I started back in April, I think. Okay. Um, and I'm here because I really want to get married. You want to move up? I really want to get married. Okay. Tell me real quick about your family. Do you have children? I have husband? One, oh, one year old girl. Okay. Awesome okay, and an awesome husband. What does your husband do? He is a director at a camp. Okay. Is it a church camp? It is a Christian camp. Okay. Awesome. Y'all clap for Lisa. Woo! Okay. So, Jolie Durham. I'm in college unit, and I'm excited about becoming a director. But I know you're the first. Yes! Yay! Y'all come for Jolie. Tell us about your family. And I have a husband and a cute little dog. Yes, her fur baby. All right, y'all clap for Jolie. All right, Sherry. Hi, Lindsay. Yay! Um, Lindsay is on. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, my name is Sherry Bowling. I have been with Mary Kay for, it was eight years in May. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> you were here through all my national journey and everything? Yeah, oh. I remember first meeting you and you were with, uh, at the hotel with um, Anita Conley. Oh, nice. Okay. Wow. So I was fussing about, I've been in Mary Kay for like a year and I haven't done anything and you were like, oh, I did that too. And I didn't know who you were. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm here because um, I want to... Um, I'm kind of at a transitional point in my life, and I just took some time off from my business. I mean, I'm still working, but not like normal. And um, now I'm trying to figure out what exactly I want from my business this okay. year. Here at the beginning of the year. Awesome. 
Yay, y'all clap for Sherry. Yay. Did you get your name tag, Sherry? They're somewhere out there. Okay, we'll find it in a minute. All right. Uh, my name's Rebecca with Laura's unit as well. Um, I think coming up, this will be three years. It's been three years already. Isn't it crazy? <laughs> um, I'm back. married and I have a little girl and a little boy. Okay. And um, I didn't want to come tonight, but because <laughs> it was so far away. But um, I'm at that same point where I'm trying to figure out what God wants if, it, if it's through this business that he would bless it and just show me where to go. So. Awesome. Awesome. Yay. Y'all clap her back up. Woo! Okay. Hi, I'm Shannon. Um, I'm in Lauren's unit as well. Um, I've been in business for two years and one month. Um, I'm here. I have a husband and we are in the adoption process. Okay. So we're adopting and we have a little curvy. All right. Um, I'm in, I'm here because I'm ready to just get my business off the ground. Okay. Become a director. Yay. Well, I'm excited. Congratulations. Thank you for coming back. Yay. Yay. Okay. Okay, I'm Tom Virginia Campbell. I signed up Wednesday. Woo! Woo! <laughs> um, I'm here because Holly told me about this and I want to come hear you guys' story and get all the motivated. My girls get real excited, like we came by here today and we saw all, all these cars right here. Like, Mom, will she let us ride? Oh, <laughs> yes. Listen, my car looks like a tornado landed inside it. It is like crazy with my boys. Holy cow. I'm like, clean out all the fast food wrappers and bags and I'll take a first spin for her. But thank you for coming. Y'all come for Virginia. Yes. Yay. Okay. I'm Brittany. I'm with Jennifer Wall's unit. I've been there okay, for almost a year, about November. Okay. Um, I'm looking for motivation and change. Sorry, okay. Change. I have three boys, eight, seven, and almost eleven months. Oh, and yay. Have a crazy life. Yes. Don't we all know? Isn't it all crazy fun? Wait, wait, wait. I'm not yes. I'm oh, sorry. I, I was going to say, say you girl. forgot your family. I, mean, I, I wasn't sure if you were ready to share. Well, I'm in like business mode. Okay. Family, okay. <laughs> I know. Well, she just got a family. Okay. Yeah. So hang on a minute. Give her a little credit. Well, um, so I told her what the God talk about her family, but I have a husband, my college sweetie, um, and he and is our, sweet. he is sweet. Our, our ninth wedding anniversary Woo! is sweet, oh, um, yeah. um, and we just brought home our 13-year-old daughter Yay! that we are adopting from foster care uh, four weeks ago tomorrow. Oh, so, exciting. So. Y'all got for Sherry. Oh, thanks for coming. Um, she has wanted to be a mommy for so long. I'm so happy for y'all. Okay. All right, um, so what do you want out of your Mary Kay business? Just tell me. Y'all, this is going to kind of be a little interactive. Y'all get your notebooks out. Get your pens ready. Does anybody need a pen? You're all good? Okay, so tell me what you want out of your business. Stay at home mom. Stay at home mom. I want a free car. I want a free car. Who else? Extra cash. Cash. That's it. Um, down like people on my team. Okay, you want to be a lead. You want to be in leadership, okay? Who else? National sales director. Thank you. I want to be a national sales director. I'm like, duh, let's go for the top, right? <laughs> okay. So, um, first thing we're going to do is um, I want to um, show you all this video. And it, it might be a little hard to hear. I hope that it won't be. Um, and I might can actually pipe it through there. We're going to try. Okay. So, just hang with me for just one sec. Let me see if I can get it to work. Um, because this, when I saw this video for the first time, I was like, Oh my goodness. Um, it was one of those videos that moved me and I wanted to show it at a seminar and I didn't get to this year just because of the logistics and, and all of that. But I wanted to, sorry, I really should have had it already up by now, but um, I wanted to start off tonight with this because I feel like when you understand what you want, <laughs> then you can figure out, then I can help you figure out how to go get it. Um, the hard part of my job is when people don't know what they want, and they're kind of in that floundering place. So my hope for you today is that um, once you leave here, you're going to have clarity on that piece for yourself. Okay, so let's see if this video is going to come up. All right, so here we go. It is not death most people are afraid of. All right, hang on. Now, I think that I can let them in on this video. So give me one second. Uh... Share. Um, 
Oh, <laughs> shoot. I haven't done this in a long time. Okay. Okay, so never mind. They're just going to have to listen. All right, you guys. Here we go. Uh. It is getting to the end of life only to realize that you never truly live. There was a study done, a hospital study, on 100 elderly people facing death close to their last breath. They were asked to reflect about their life's biggest regret. Nearly all of them said they regretted not the things they did, but the things they didn't do. The risks they never took, the dreams they didn't pursue. I ask you, will your last words be, if only I hit, hey, you, wake up. Why do you exist? Life is not meant to simply work, wait for the weekend and pay rent. No, no, I don't know much, but I know this. Every person on this earth has a gift. And I apologize to the black community, but I can no longer pretend. Martin Luther King, that man never had a dream. That dream had him. See, people don't choose dreams. Dreams choose them. So the question I'm getting to is, do you have the courage to grab the dream that picked you, that befits you and grips you? Or will you let it get away and slip through? You know, I learned a fact about airplanes the other day. Now, this was, this was so surprising, see? I was talking to a pilot, and he told me that many of his passengers think planes are dangerous to fly in. But he said, actually, it is a lot more dangerous for a plane to stay on the ground. I said, what? Like, how does that sound? Well, he said, he said, because on the ground, the plane starts to rust, malfunction and wear much faster than it ever would if it was in the air. As I walked away, I thought, yeah, makes total sense because planes were built to live in the skies and every person was built to live out the dream they have inside. So it is perhaps the saddest loss to live a life on the ground without ever taking off. See, most of us are afraid of the thief that comes in the night to steal all of our things. But there is a thief in your mind who is after your dreams. His name is Doubt. If you see him, call the cops and keep him away from the kids because he is wanted for murder, for he has killed more dreams than failure ever did. He wears many disguises and like a virus will leave you blind and divided and turn you into a kinda. See, kinda is lethal. You know what kinda is. It's a lot of kinda people. You kinda want a career change. You kinda want to get straight A's. You kinda want to get in shape. Simple math, no numbers to crunch. If you kinda want something, then you will kinda get the results you want. What is your dream? What ignites that spark? You can't kind of want that. You got to want it with every part of your whole heart. Will you struggle? Yeah, yeah, you will struggle. No way around it. You will fall many times, but who's counting? Just remember, there's no such thing as a smooth mountain. If you want to make it to the top, then there are sharp ridges that must be stepped over. There will be times you get stressed and things you get depressed over. But let me tell you something. Steven Spielberg was rejected from film school three times. Three times, but he kept going. The television execs fired Oprah, said she wasn't fit for TV, but she kept going. Critics told Beyonce that she couldn't sing. She went through depression, but she kept going. Struggle and criticisms are prerequisites for greatness. That is the law of this universe and no one escapes it because pain is life, but you can choose what type, either the pain on the road to success or the pain of being haunted with regret. You want my advice? Don't think twice. We have been given a gift that we call life. So don't blow it. You are not defined by your past. Instead, you are born anew in each moment. So own it now. Sometimes you got to leap and grow your wings on the way down. You better get the shot off before the clock runs out. Because ain't no overtime in life. No do-over. And I know I sound like I'm preaching or speaking with force. But if you don't use your gift, then you sell not only yourself but the whole world, sure.
So what invention do you have buried in your mind? What idea, what cure, what skill do you have inside to bring out to this universe? Uni meaning one, verse meaning song. You have a part to play in this song. So grab that microphone and be brave. Sing your heart out on life stage. You cannot go back and make a brand new beginning, but you can start now and make a brand new ending. Mm. I love that. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I love it. Love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Uh, I would love to, um, but it is like embedded and it won't let me. So I can try. It's not like a YouTube link. Um, it's not, but I might can like play it and video it. That's probably what I'm going to have to do. Anyway. All right. Let me get it back on this. Okay. All right. So tell me what you took away from that video. Don't leave your laugh with your song in play. Who else? I love that if you kind of want something, you'll kind of get it. If you kind of want it, you'll kind of get results. Who else? Don't let your dreams just pass by. Don't let your dreams pass by. Keep going. Pain is life. Pain is life. Who else? I got it. Take all. Yes. Now is the time to start something. Did you hear what he said? You'll grow if you jump. You'll grow your wings when? Oh, oh, my damn. You know, I think so many times in our business, you guys, we wait until we're perfect. You know, we watch the nationals on stage and we watch the directors and we wait till we're like them to become a director or to become a national or we wait till we're as smart as they are, as knowledgeable about the product or can book parties like they can or can hold parties like they can. But the deal is we grew into that as we became that, if that makes sense. Okay. All right. Um, so the first thing we're going to do uh, is a little exercise. I want y'all to all stand up. Okay. All right. And now I need you to sit down. Okay. Now I need you to stand up. And I need you to sit down. Now I need you to stand up one last time. Go ahead. And I need you to kind of sit down, but don't let your butt touch the chair. Just kind of. Don't go down. You can't let your butt touch the chair. Okay, kind of a little more. So don't let your butt touch the chair. Just kind of. We're just kind of sitting. Okay. <laughs> How does that feel? Sit. Good. It's hard. That's Ooh. the word I wanted. Why is it hard? It's hard. It's yeah. Say it again. We're not used to okay, it. give me some more answers. In between. Thank you. You're not. You're not up and you're not down. You're not all in. Right. When I say stand, you know how that feels. When I say sit, you know what to do. But kind of, which is just what he talked about, you can't kind of sit. You either sit or you don't. That's the same in Mary Kay. You either have a goal or you don't. You either want to become a director or you don't. Or you want to earn a car or you don't. But we get stuck in this place of in between. And we get stuck in this place that's in the middle of that. And that is, what'd you say? Hard. Hard. And so when people tell me that Mary Kay's hard, I have to beg to differ. Because if you're sold out and you're all in, in or in, it's not hard. This is what's hard. And it's hard because your muscles are not accustomed to that. You either are on or off. And most women I find in Mary Kay that are finding success is they're on or they're off people. You know, and that's who we are. Like, as mothers, as women in general, we wear all the hats, you know, and we're so used to multitasking, right? And we're so used to just figuring it all out and throwing all the babies in the car and feeding them whatever on the way. And, like, we'll just make it work. We'll just figure it out. You know, my husband always says, well, how are, how are we going to do X, Y, Z? And my answer our whole life has always been, I'll figure it out, right? Don't we do that? Like, how are you going to become a national with a newborn? I don't know. I'll figure it out. And I did how are you going to be a national with another newborn? I don't know, but I'll figure it out. You know, we just, that's what we've learned to do. And so instead of taking our Mary Kay business and saying, no, this is like college. I'm going to start here. I'm going to finish here. These are my objectives in the middle that I have to check off the list. And I have to do the journey and the process. But we make it almost like motherhood. Like, oh, we'll just kind of go along, float along, figure it out, figure it out as we go. You know, with Gunner, he's too. And at two, there's wonderful things about being two, and there's hard pieces of a two-year-old. Any of y'all have a two-year-old? Okay. Ever had a two-year-old? Yes, you've had a two-year-old. Okay. 
Um, same thing about a brand new baby. There's so many joys, but there's also so many pieces that are hard. Like there's no sleep and there's no, you know, you remember all those pieces that were difficult about having that newborn in your house. But every, with every step, you just do what? You just figure it out. But in Mary Kay, we adapt that same just kind of float along and figure it out mentality. And instead of being intentional and on purpose, we kind of just get in this this. And I kind of want to maybe kind of be a director. <laughs> and I kind of want to maybe kind of win a car. Instead of being intentional day in and day out, focused on today I'm doing this, tomorrow I'm doing that, today I'm doing this, tomorrow I'm doing that, right? Which is so much more easy and logical, and our brains can bite onto that. Are you all with me? So your subconscious part of your brain is the part that controls what you really believe. It's what you are willing to bite onto. Um, it's what controls what actions you take, okay? And so um, let's talk about the rules of directorship. Okay, so who knows what the rules are? Um, I'm going to hand this out, y'all, to sit in front. Y'all don't have to be my passer out or girls. You know, I was a teacher, so um, I always have to find somebody to pass that on my papers for me. Okay, so what are the rules of being a sales director? Who knows the rules? Okay, so if you look at the bottom under where it says 10 and you're in, so you must be active, which means you have to place an order in the last two months. You have to be a star consultant last quarter. Okay, so whatever quarter you're in or the quarter before, you have to have done a star. You have to be at 1,800 wholesale, last quarter or the current quarter, okay? Write that beside you must be a star, last quarter or the current quarter, okay? And we can talk about that if there's some confusion. And then you must have 10 or more active team members. So if you want to move up in Mary Kay, you have to know the rules. I met with a girl who told me she wanted to move up by the end of the month, but she didn't know the rules, okay? If you don't know the rules, you can't stand up or sit down. You're hovering again, and hovering hurts, and is uncomfortable, and it's frustrating, okay? So let's step back for just a minute and look at this 1 through 10. So under the line number 1, I want you to write senior consultant. So when you have one active recruit on your team, you're a senior consultant, okay? What are you called when you have three? Red jacket. So under three, I want you to write red jacket. Under five, what's that called? Yes, on target. For car, that's when you can go on target. The title is called what? Team leader. Team leader. Okay. So we had senior at one. Three was red jacket. Five was team leader. Eight is called future director. And 10 is DIQ. Now, what does DIQ stand for? Who knows? Director of Qualifications. Okay, so you're in qualifications to earn the suit that Lauren has. Now, some of y'all are sitting here going, well, yeah, but I don't really know if I want that suit. And that's good, but that's what I'm gonna, that's why you're here tonight, is because I want to show you the perks, and I'm gonna believe that y'all are intelligent women and that y'all can figure it out on your own. Okay, my director calculator. Okay. Um, all right, so let's talk about income for just a minute for our sales directors, okay? When you finish directorship and you're the first kind of level that you are is a cruise director, okay? So that's the first level. You have about 25 to 30 girls on your team, you and them all together. That's about that level. Those directors are doing five to 7,000 wholesale months, okay? Them and all of their team are ordering five to 7,000 wholesale, okay? We're going to calculate that paycheck. All right, so we're going to do 7,000. All right, so let's write 7,000 on there. Let me see if I can pull this actual sheet. I have a whole pile of pins and markers right there on my desk. Just step right in my office and grab whatever you need. Okay, so how do you get paid? Uh huh. Um, if you were a senior consultant last quarter, you do not have to be a senior consultant or you have to be a No. You do not have to be. You just have to, to go into DIQ, you have to have 10 active in that month. Okay. Yes. Did you get what you needed, Sherry? Yeah. Okay. So, sorry, you guys, I thought that paper printed, but I guess it didn't. Let me go snatch it right here on this day with some training. Okay. So, sorry, actually, it's in my Dropbox. I'm going to throw that. Here it is. Okay. 
Okay, so as directors, you're paid on your unit and your personal team. As consultant who's moving around this circle, one to ten, who are you paid on? Only on your personal team. So once you cross over and you're now a sales director, now you are commissioned on everybody's, everybody's, everybody. Okay, so if I recruit Joe Lee, Joe Lee recruits Virginia, Virginia recruits Lauren, Lauren recruits Mary Jo, as a director, I'm commissioned on that whole line of consultants. Does that make sense? The people that I recruit, Joe Lee, I'm commissioned on her at 13%. Period. Forever. Okay? So as a director, when Jolie orders, I make 13% of that as a sales director. If I recruited Jolie, Jolie, I didn't recruit Jolie, for real. So I'm not commissioned on Jolie as a personal recruit of mine, okay? How many of y'all have team members on your team? Okay, y'all have recruits on your team. So if you have recruits on your team, when they order, you earn commissions now. Well, as a director now, that commission's going to be 13%, okay? Then... After that 13% is paid, then you're also going to make another 13% on everybody else that's not yours, and another 13 on the people that are yours. So what percentage are you really making on your personal recruits? 26%. So you make a fourth of what those people order in wholesale production. Somebody orders 4,000, what do you make? A thousand bucks. Okay, so now instead of 4% commission that y'all make now as a consultant, so do 4,000 times 4%. It's $160. Or 1,000. How do y'all want to get paid? I'm just asking. <laughs> Are y'all with me? So to me, if I'm going to do the work anyway, I'd rather get paid for it, right? So as sales directors, the company doubles, triples, quadruples your income now because you have a title. How many of y'all want to make four times the money in your day job? How many of y'all work a day job? Yes? Okay, tell me what you get paid per hour or what people you know get paid per hour. Anybody? 25 an hour. So what's that times four? $100 an hour. How would their life change if they went from $25 an hour to $100 an hour? This is the same concept. So where somebody as a consultant is making 4% and you go to 26% you guys, that's a big increase in your income. Okay, now as directors, what are the other perks, Lauren? What's another perk of being a sales director? Um, the recruiting commission on personal. Right, and so that's this. what we were just talking about, that recruiting commission. All right, so here no, we go. Like when they place a, their person order, $100, right. normally it's $50. Oh, 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 oh right. Consultant. So she's talking about now when you recruit somebody personally, so if I recruit Joe Lee, or I recruit Lisa into my business and she comes in and gets started, I get a $100 bonus on that. Add five, how much is that? 500. So as consultants, when I challenge you to add five new recruits in the month, you can get a $50 bonus now as consultants. But as directors, that also doubles to $100 a piece. All right, so I want you to write, did y'all write 7,000? I want you to do times 13%. So if you were gonna be a sales director driving a Chevy Cruze, you and your team would produce about six to seven thousand. We're gonna round it to six thousand so our numbers are even, okay? So I want y'all to do seven thousand times 0 0.13. And I want you to write that down. What is it? What is it? Nine hundred and ten dollars. Write that down. Okay, now. You're also going to earn this personal team commission, okay? So if you have a unit doing 7000 wholesale, this last month my unit did 20000 and my personal team did 8000 Okay, I should have done all this on my own stuff, okay? So I made 13%. So if your unit is doing 7000 I'm going to say your personal team is doing about four. okay? I always, 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 since I became a director, my personal team, I work to always do 4000 always, okay? So of that seven, if 4,000 is yours, you take that 4,000 and you multiply that by 13%. Uh, is that five twenty. So now we've earned how much? 910 plus 520 so far, right? Okay, let's keep going. Now, if you do over 5,000, the company gives you a 10% bonus. And how much did we do for the whole month? Seven, right? So now you get a seven hundred dollar unit volume bonus. So write seven hundred dollars, 
and you get a new qualified bonus. So $100 per new team member, okay? A lot of directors work on a gold medal, which is five every single month. So let's go on the low side and say that you're personally recruiting three new sharp consultants every month, okay? So that's three qualified, so that's $300. So that's another $300 in your income, okay? Now, if you're driving the cruise, the cash compensation on that is $375, but it's actually going up to $425, okay? So write car credit, $425. Now, if it's a month, that's June, September, December, or March, the company takes all the girls in your unit and they say, oh, okay, Lisa, so you have three girls in your unit that are red jackets, which reds how many? So you have three people in your unit who have three people on their team, okay? So once you become a director, your goal is to now build who? More directors. So the way to build directors is to do what? Move people up the career path. So you move them around that circle. Does that make sense? So you move them to senior. Then help them get their recruits and move them to red. And then you help them move them to team leader and on target. Are y'all with me? Yes? Okay. So then they're going to give you $50 per red jacket. Okay? In your team. So how many did we say we had? You have 30 people, probably about three red jackets. 10% is the goal. Okay? So three reds, what's your bonus on that? $150. Whose head is spinning right now? No one? Okay, great. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in January, the company gives you a wellness bonus. I'm not adding that in, but you get $800, $1,300, or an additional $2,000 added to your commission checks so that if you need to pay for insurance or gym memberships, whatever to keep you well, healthy, if you um, want to buy um, whatever, a gift card to Whole Foods so your family can eat healthier, the company wants to keep us well. And because we're direct, sales, they can't buy us health insurance. So that's just a little stipend, a little bonus that they do for us. If you're in leadership, that they give that to you just as a, here you go, thank you, I want this to help with your insurance. So they don't pay our insurance for us, but an extra 800 to 2000 in January after Christmas just hit, it sure is a nice little bonus. Okay, right Lauren? Yep. Yes. Okay, so we're going to still keep going. Now, if you, as a sales director, okay, have people in your unit who come into Mary Kay and they start with product, okay? We already said that you had three of those people that belong to you, okay? If you as a director have at least four in your unit, the company pays you another $100 for every one of those people, even if you didn't recruit them, okay? So you already had three of them, but I'm going to say that you just have four of the minimum, okay? Just four qualifies for the month. So that's another $400 bonus. So you already made 100 on your three, but then Joe Lee added one, so now I have four in my unit. So now I'm paid 400 on my unit and 300 on my personal. Are you all with me? Am I confusing anybody? So you get both of them, right? You get both of them. So now you made two, four, six, seven hundred dollars So write down that other $400. Okay, just lost purple now. Mm -hmm. I know. Okay, Lisa's got it all in order for me. So Lisa, out of our total. $3,400 in commission, and how much did your unit produce? $7,000. So what's half of $7,000? $3,500. So as a director, if you will focus on personally building your team, and you stay in the field, and you continue to build new personal recruits, which is what you had to do to get there, the company will give you upwards of half of your production as a paycheck. Y'all, that's crazy. There is no business that you're going to produce $7,000 and they're going to give you half. That's why when Mary Kay started our company, people told her it would fail. They said there is no way you can keep up with this commission structure. There's no way you can pay these people this much money. Like, it's impossible. But guess what? 53 years in business, right? We're completely debt-free. And women, every year at seminar, are getting another million-dollar plaque. Another million-dollar plaque. Another million dollar plaque. I'm 35 years old and I've earned a million dollars in my Mary Kay career. Y'all, that's insane. Right? And I don't retire till I'm 65. So I have another 30 years. I mean, that's a lot of income. You know what I mean? And it's I don't have a boss who tells me what I can earn. 
I can go work in the field and bring in new personal recruits into my team and my unit as a director, and I know I'm going to be paid twice the income on the same work I did as a consultant. It's crazy. I sat with Virginia and her husband this week, okay, and we were talking about the business. And he was like, you know, if she brought in $500 to $1,000 a month, it would change things in our house. How many of you, $500 to $1,000 today, would change things in your house? Y'all, this is America. Every woman's life that you know would change if every first day of the month you handed her $1,000. Every Friday you gave her $250, $250, $250. It would change her house. Because America is so used to living like this that if there 90% of Americans are like one financial or one um, mishap away from financial disaster, meaning um, like the car breaks down completely and you have to buy a new car. You know, most people can't, they can't go just muster up eight or $10,000 today. You know what I'm saying? But you guys, if you are smart with your business, smart, you will bite on to do, not halfway, not here, not kind of halfway, not maybe considering, but decide what you want in this business and then bite on like a bulldog and go get it, okay? One of my new girlfriends um, we actually just met, she's a Georgia Bulldog fan. <laughs> and so um, when we went to seminar, did y'all see the pictures from seminar? of us all wearing red cowboy hats and stuff, and she's like, oh my gosh, I gotta have one of those hats. And so I'm putting her the UGA symbol on the front with my little cutter machine and all that, but my mantra in life is bite on like a bulldog. Have y'all ever been bitten by a dog before? I have been bitten by a dog three times, three different dogs on three different occasions. I don't know if they like me or, or hate me. I can't figure it out, but anyway, um, I was bit when I was a little girl on my Achilles tendon by a big St. Bernard, and he wouldn't let go of me. And I'm still not afraid of dogs. It's so weird. Um, it, the, no, maybe only twice. In the second time, I was delivering product, and a uh, German Shepherd, I was walking toward the house to leave the product in the garage on the door, and I'd grown up with their daughter, so I knew the dad and stuff. You know what I mean? But nobody's home but dad. And so I'm walking toward the house. Well, I had on a skirt, and he bit me, like, right below my butt cheek and, like, had my butt in my skirt. And I take off running. I just run into the house, and I'm like... Oh my God, I'm not naked. You know, I'm screaming for him. I'm like, oh my gosh. And every time I say bite on like a bulldog, I have experienced what the other side of that feels like, okay? Bite on you guys and decide what you want because when you bite on, guess what? I had to do what that dog wanted me to. You know what I mean? Like, you have to cooperate. So if you will bite on to your goal, bite on to your dream, you will get what you want because it's non negotiable at that point. He had me in his teeth. My skirt had a big hole in the whole butt of it. Like, it had to go in the trash. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I mean, like, bite on and sink your teeth in. Has there ever been a time in your life when you've really sunk your teeth into something? Childbirth? Any of y'all birthed the baby? You know, there's no turning back. You're all in. Right, Lisa? Like, all in. Okay? You get to the point, and you're like, I don't want to do this anymore, and it's too bad. Yeah, Sorry, you never think this baby is coming now, you know, and you got to bear down and you got to fight till you finish. That is what this is like, okay, because it's not going to be easy. I'll just straight up tell y'all, Mary Kay is very simple, and if we were all men, we would all do it 10 times faster. Now, why do y'all think I say that? Their emotions don't hold them back. Thank you. Say it again. Their emotions. Do they even have emotions? Because <laughs> my husband doesn't. Not emotional. We live in this plate of spaghetti that when the child throws up, then that noodle goes to the over to the noodle where we're at work, and then we're worried about them being sick all day, and then we did we clean up the throw up after they threw up, and then oh no, what if we didn't? And then what if you know I'm walking after work and somebody slips and falls in where the baby threw up, and did I clean it with the wrong stuff? And y'all, this is our life, right? Or is it just me? Yes. It all is like this big jumble. And if your husband's flustered with you. You leave and you carry it all day. Guess what he does when he leaves? He's over it. <laughs> he put it in that box. I want y'all to think of every man in your life like his brain is like a waffle. You know how there's compartments? And all those little holes in the waffle have a door. 
And when he's with you doing wife time, he's in that square. He's not thinking about work. He's not thinking about the football game. He's not. He's like with the wife. Have y'all ever taken your kid to your husband? And then my husband like puts everything down and just like has to just. I'm like, oh my gosh, he's in the kid walk, muscle walks. Like he's doing the kid. You know what I'm saying? And we think it's so amazing that we can all do what? Multitask. But you guys, if you constantly multitask with your brain, with your emotions, with your thoughts, with everything in your life, you're never excellent at that one thing. Okay? So my husband is building these pitching mounds, okay? Because our little boy wants to start pitching um, baseball pitching mounds. And so he is outside building the pitching mounds. So dinner's ready, but he's in the pitching mound waffle box. Are y'all with me? He's not going to come eat. He's not going to toss and play baseball. It's starting to rain. It doesn't matter. He's going to finish what he started, right? And then he brought me outside to quit cooking dinner to help him carry him in the garage so that that task, the door could be closed. Right? What do we do? Oh, dinner's ready. All right, I'll come finish that later. Right? And then we go outside. We're like, oh, no, it started raining. Now they're ruined. You know, and all that work goes to waste. But we get so distracted. So the first thing about directorship is focus. Focus. Okay, director fast. That's what this class is called. F-A-S-T. Now, what does it mean to be fast? It's focused, to be an achiever, to be a seller, and to be a team builder. When you can learn those four pieces, you will become a director fast. Not halfway, not a kind of, not a wishy-washy, but you'll do it quickly. Okay? All right. So we talked about the perks. Now, let me tell you all this little piece of information. I'm going to give it all to you. We're good. Yes, that's part of That's the whole night is that. Let me tell you this. When you debut as a sales director by November 1st, who knows what happens? I know Joe Lee knows. Is he mail to Yes, thank you, Lisa. Here, pass out my papers. Okay, so I want you to look at the bottom right hand side of your paper. All right, so Chateau of Wine is something that we're doing. Um, I'm doing it with four of my national girlfriends. We are renting a chalet, well, different chalets, four or five probably, um, at the Chateau Alain Spa and Winery between here and Atlanta. It's about an hour from here. Is it close to you, Lisa? Closer? Closer. Okay. And so Chateau Alain, what we're doing is you can also earn golden tickets from us. And the golden tickets, this is on the bottom right. We're going to go over the other three quads in a minute. So go to the bottom right. You're going to earn every golden ticket you earn is worth a $25 spa voucher. Hey, you know I've been to a spa. Okay. Like, seriously, Shannon, tell me. Okay. You know, like, cucumbers on your eyes, really? It's not just for the rich and famous. It's for the Mary Kay girls. It's all okay. good. You go in. You get to pick your spa treatment. So if you earn, let's say you earn $100 worth of vouchers between now and when we go, then you can pick a $100 spa treatment. But let's say, Jolie, you said, well, I really want this, this, and this, and you want to spend a hundred and use your hundred dollars, then you can do that. You can get a petty, you can get a mani, you can get a stone uh, massage, you can get the uh, like paraffin on your whole body, you can get a mud bath, you can get whatever, you can get an um, eucalyptus pool. Um, you guys, like, how many of y'all, like, the tension out of your shoulders just goes, <sighs> because I will steal your phone when you walk in, okay, so you have to just, what? How many of us just stop and relax for us? We don't. Who's got time to do that, right? You don't just sit and take time for us. And so this, it's 24 hours. We're going to all go shopping. Chateau Long will all be decorated for Christmas. We're going to go shopping. We're going to do dinner. And you're going to be staying in these chalets at Chateau Long with the National Sales Directors. Like, it's going to be pretty stinking amazing if you ask me. Okay? The cost for you is 50 bucks. That's it. So it's not a thousand dollars, it's not even a hundred, it's fifty bucks, and that just registers you basically, so we can count you in, okay? But once you are a sales director by November first, what month is it? August. So we still have plenty of time. The people in this room will be at this event as new directors, even if you have nobody on your team right now, because twelve weeks after I left that event, I had finished my first car with fourteen new recruits on my team, and we had done. Uh, 20,000 wholesale. And I'd never done an interview in my life. 
And I don't tell y'all that to say, look at me. I tell you because it's been done, it's possible, so somebody else can do it too, right? Copy, paste. Just do it again, okay? But I was all in. I was standing up or sitting. I wasn't being halfway, okay? So that's Chateau Alain. Now, when we go down to um, the focus, so the word fast, the first piece that you have to be is focused, okay? Focus, focus, focus. What is the one thing that you have got to focus on? To become a sales director, what do you have to do? Everybody pull out your sheet. Numbers. Pull out your sheet. One through ten. Hold it up, Joe, so everybody can see. Okay. The one thing you have to do is what? You have to get ten people on your team to go into DIQ. Because you can't be a director until you go into DIQ, correct? How do you get people on your team? Interviews, but how to say again? Holding parties. Holding parties so that you can do what? Sell product and share the opportunity. Here's what I want y'all to know. So this week on the way to Dallas, my husband and I were deciding um, what I wanted to pay off next. Isn't that exciting? So on the way to Dallas, because I'm the kind of girl who I have to have accountability or I just like go buy whatever. Whatever. I want something. I just go buy it. Julie and I talked about this. And so he and I decided that I would give him $600 a month toward the next bill that we want to pay off. Okay? So 18 months, it'll be paid for completely. Okay? Now, when he said that, some of y'all might go, that's a little scary to think about having a $600 bill per month that you're responsible for. But what amount could you be responsible for? What do you feel like you could sell and hand your significant other every month toward a bill? Anybody? 400? Who else? Virginia, what do you think? So how much profit do you want to make from your sales to pay on a certain thing every month? Like what bill can you take on? That's what I'm asking you. Three to four hundred, okay? Three to four hundred, Jolie. How much? Four hundred? Brittany? I say eight hundred. Okay. <laughs> Sherry, what did you, you say, Lisa? Did you say yours? What I would want to. Yes. What you want to? What would you want to sell? If I let y'all leave here today, what do you want to commit to handing your husband every month to pay toward a certain bill? Five hundred dollars. Lauren, what about you? Chase and I talked about this when I got back. He said, "I want to challenge you because we're working to save up a lot for our next house for yes. down payment." Because we want to. He said, "If you would put aside a thousand from your commissions and sales every month to go into savings towards the house." How many of y'all would like to save, did you hear me? Save $1,000 a month. Yes, How many of y'all would even just like to have a savings account? Would that be exciting, right? Okay, so when I went to Clemson, as a college student, I had no savings when I started, and I became a director at the end of my junior year. Before I graduated, I put $10,000 in my savings account while I was a student. Okay, selling product. So this past week, I added it up all ago, I sold five hundred dollars this week. Okay, so I'm supposed to give my husband one fifty a week, right? Because one fifty times four is six hundred. That's the money I'm supposed to pay toward that. Now, let's rewind for a minute. I pay all the bills at my house with my Mary Kay commissions. Okay, I pay everything. Every bill that we have, that's what I pay for. Okay. However, I really stink at money management. So instead of just stinking at it and continuing to stink at it. I've now asked for him to intervene. <laughs> okay? I'll so it's spending money. Do I? I know. It's been money. But it's not even about quit spending money. It's like, let's spend it on something that's really worth spending it on. Don't just buy extra eggs at the grocery store and let them rot in the fridge or grapes that nobody eats. Like, let's put all of this money because I just spend, I buy a million little things that all cost $5. I don't ever buy big stuff. You know what I mean? I splurge and bought me Michael Kors first, but I don't do that. You know what I mean? Like, I went the other day and bought all new bedding for my big boy. Why? I don't know. I just came home and I'm staring at the back of my car and I was like, this is what he's talking about. Like, I told him, I was like, hey, I want to make you a whole new baseball bedroom. And he's like, yay. And my husband's like, this is what we were talking about. But I love the luxury of being able to do that. But in the same breath, how would you feel if every month you watched a bill go down by $600, $800, $1,000? 
What if you paid your house off early? What if you paid off your student loans or your credit card debt or your car or your vehicles? How would you feel as an entrepreneur if you were putting thousands of dollars a month in your bank account? How would you feel? Great. Jolie said great. Any other words? Very nice. Say it again. Very nice. Anybody nice. else? Content. I would feel content. I would feel at peace. How many of y'all are sick of worrying about money? Right? It's like, I don't want to feel like that anymore. I don't want that burden anymore. Okay? Well, here is how you make yourself happy. You make your man happy. And you recruit people in your business. You have to sell product. Okay? So, I think I took it to my car thing. So, on the corner of my desk, I have an envelope that has August 1 through 7 on it. And it lays on the corner of my desk. Every check, every sales ticket, and every profile card that I have for August 1st through 7th goes in that corner of my desk. Today was payday. Woohoo! I'm so excited. Okay, because guess what I do? Take all the checks to the bank, cash everything. Okay, because I'm a tangible money girl. I gotta see the money in my hands. Okay? I will spend on a debit card like whatever, but I won't spend cash. Okay, so know how you work. Figure that out. Like, I'm going to have to start giving, I bought all the bedding, so now i got to give them all my cards again. I'm like, why do I keep spending, like, something crazy, you know? I make a ton of money in Mary Kay, but I don't keep any of it. Well, that's not smart. <laughs> you know what I mean? Are y'all with me? Like, we've got to be good stewards of what we're given, okay? So if you're given a ton, you've got to be responsible with a ton if you want to be given more, right? Yes, okay. So um, what I do is take this envelope, and then I take all of the money in my ProPay account, do y'all know what I'm talking about? Propays where you charge people's cards. I go to the ATM, I stick it in the ATM, and I withdraw all of those funds out of there also. Okay? Everything is cash in my hand today. $500. Okay? So I owe Matt how much? $150. How much does that leave me as my profit? $100 for Holly, right? And the other $250 I have to do what with? I have to reorder what I sold. Are y'all with me? Now, I have inventory. If you don't have inventory, you're going to have to do this every time you sell product because you're going to have to get there those people their stuff, right? You're the place orders more often. Every Friday, I reorder what I sold, and I give myself a paycheck. Okay? Are y'all with me? So how are you going to feel in your business when you sit across from a woman and you can say, here's how you do your money. So last week on Friday, I sold $500. I did one facial this past week, one facial, and the rest were reorders. One facial. It took me an hour. Actually, I was there for 40 minutes, and I sold $240 to the woman. But knowing that I have to hand my husband that money has made me get on the phone and book more appointments. Okay? And when you're at an appointment, what do you do at the end of the appointment? You share about the business, right? So it's this full circle thing where when you're a happy consultant and there's money in your bank account and you can sit across from somebody, Lisa, if I'm sitting across from you and I can say, you know, I'm working, I, you know, I'm working on paying $600 a month to pay this bill off and the other four or 500 that I make um, just from selling product. That's not recruiting commissions. Now I can tell y'all I make a $10,000 a month paycheck, but that doesn't move you like it does when I say I sell anywhere from $500 to $1,000 a week. And you're going, just sell it? Well, I can figure that out. Are y'all with me? Because new consultants, Virginia understood, her husband understood, I can sell product and make 50%. And when you have money in the bank, y'all, you will recruit people because they need money in their bank account. Okay? So you come into Mary Kay, you come into these direct sales companies, and all they talk about is recruit, 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 which is great. You have to recruit to go around the circle, right? Yes, to win a free car, you have to recruit. Yes, you can sell $800,000 of Mary Kay this year, and they are not going to give you a free car unless you have 20000 wholesale and 14 people on your team, right? Okay, are y'all with me? But you have to learn to do both. When you learn to do both and sell product, and at the selling appointment, after you close the sale, then you share the facts about Mary Kay and do the team building appointment, then you're going to recruit people because they're going to say, how much did you sell here tonight, Sherry? You sold $600 to all my family. Virginia came to the party with a $200 order. She came to a party on uh, Tuesday night. 
She had a two hundred dollar order from her mother in law. <laughs> Are y'all with me? And I said that would have been your hundred dollars. She's like, oh. <laughs> so. But do y'all understand what I'm saying? When you sell product, the person across from you can understand. They have a hard time with all of the recruiting commissions and team building commissions, and it doesn't make sense. When you tell my directors are eight thousand, that sounds good, but that doesn't make sense like it does when you say, when you sell a thousand, you keep half. Like, cha ching, they get that. Okay. All right. So the first thing is focus. So what do you need to focus on? In order to move up to sell product and to recruit people on your team, what do you have to focus on? What do we say? You have to focus on 10 recruits. How are you going to find 10 people? By doing this. More papers. More papers, more papers, Miss Lee. What do you say? Text booking. Yes, you got to book appointments. Okay. Now, form chatting. Yes. Okay, All right, so what does this at the top say? Focus on what? IPS. Now, if you've been with me more than a minute, like Virginia, more than about three days, you have heard me train and teach on income producing activities. Y'all, my inventory can be beautifully displayed. My mirrors can be squeaky clean. My office can be perfectly vacuumed. Until I sit across from a woman and sell product, nobody in this company makes $1. Nobody earns recruiting commissions in Mary Kay until somebody does what? Sells product. Okay? So when you set up that initial appointment and you sell her a product, you're creating an experience for her. Okay? You're giving her a look. You're giving her confidence. You're making her feel beautiful. You're making her feel good about herself. And if she buys product as a result of that, great. I just booked a girl who's a teacher. And I said, your first week of school before the kids come back, I want to do a facial with you. She said, girl, I have not got a paycheck since June 25th. I said, I do not care if you buy one dog on thing. She said, are you sure? And I said, absolutely. Because if I get in front of her, I can show her the sets. She can one post date a check. That's an option to the 25th, right? She can break stuff up into payments. That's an option. She can book a party and I can do marketing. Right? Are y'all with me? So there's a lot of opportunities at appointments with people. So if I book Lisa for an appointment one-on-one -on -one and she doesn't know me well, I'm going to go facial her, and then I'm going to book a party through her. That's what I did with the girl I sold 242 last week, or this past week, when I was there for 40 minutes, literally. Okay? All right, so what count as IPAs? Parties. Pre-profiling or coaching your parties for the week. Bookings, interviews, unit interviews. Um, new personal, now y'all aren't going to do unit members yet, sales meetings, excuse me, personal guests, unit guests, when you follow up with them, new consultant education, mark through that, y'all don't get credit for that, inventory discussion with a unit member, mark through that, you don't get credit for that, one-on-one -on -one phone cons um, conversations with three consultants, you don't get credit for that yet, okay? This is director IPAs, you guys. Why am I giving you a director income producing activity sheet? Because I need y'all to think like a leader. I need you thinking like that. Because when you come out of DIQ and move into directorship and you stay focused on this stuff, yeah, you can pay somebody else to make your office look pretty. You can pay somebody else to pack your mirrors and put away your sales tickets. Let other people do that stuff for you. You can pay them pennies while you go and make millions. Are y'all with me? But you don't have to be the one to do all that stuff. How many of y'all would love for somebody to come and clean your house? Do you know how often my housekeeper comes? Three days a week. Wow. Whoa. So I said, what did they possibly do three days a week? I said, yeah, everything. I don't touch anything. I do not pick up one toy. I do not wash the dishes. I do not change the sheets. I do not fold the laundry. I do not put the laundry away. So when we finish dinner, I pile everything in the sink. And guess what I do? I go play with my kids. Because that's what brings me joy. Doing dishes. Does not bring me joy. I've done dishes twice this week, and so has my husband because our house girl is on vacation. And I don't like seeing stuff in the sink. I hate there being stuff in my sink and grit on my floor. I can't stand it. So I have vacuumed and I sweat, but I know how to do it all. That's not what I want to do. I want to work my business all day 
And when it's nighttime and it's a mommy night and I'm home with my family, I want to cook dinner and then I want to go play outside like I did last night. We played in the rain. We played baseball. You know what I mean? And Gunner went and picked watermelons out of the garden and then threw them in the garden. Yeah, like this is our life. But that's what I want to do. That's what brings me joy. Okay, so if that's what brings you joy, then use your business as an opportunity to employ somebody else and give them money. I'd much rather pay her to clean my toilets. I hate doing that stuff. I do not want to scrub the toilets, Lauren. I don't like it. Okay, anyway. Um, no to consultants, mark that out, and then facials. Two facials. So 10 IPAs a week. 10 IPAs a week for you for directorship. 10 a week, 10 a week, 10 a week, 10 a week. And when you get in the habit of thinking about income producing things instead of um, organizing your inventory or hanging up new posters or whatever, and when you think about Mary Kay, you're doing Mary Kay, you are gonna be so much more productive. So when you wanna know what to focus on, you focus on things that are gonna bring you what? Income, because when you have income, you will what? Recruit. People will not tell you no if you're showing them that you are personally selling $1,000 a week, you guys. I had to beat people with a stick off of me when I was moving up to Mary Kay. Because I had $1,000 week ribbons, a stack this high. I always sold $1,000 a week, every week, always. But I always did three parties a week like a rock star, always. I always held parties. And you guys, you know, people can argue with me all day, but I sell more at a facial than I do at a party. Well, that's all fine, but guess what at a party I get to do? I get to book three to five more parties. I get to interview everybody there. I get to sell more volumes of product, and I get to get tons of referrals. So for me, if it takes me the same amount of time to do a facial as a party, and I'm going to sell the same amount, but I get all that other stuff, I'd rather have all the other stuff also. Does that make sense? All right, so you're going to focus on what? Income producing activities, and what else are you going to focus on? Send new team. Yes, and new team members. And how are you going to find your team members? This. Okay, on the little sheet that has the four quads, there's one that says Fab Five and Perfect Ten. Find that and show it to me. Y'all have that sheet it's on the top right hand side. There we go. Okay, so what is the Fab Five and Perfect Ten? Who knows? Yes, it's appointments. All right, so qualifications for a five five or five parties and five hundred wholesale. Perfect ten, ten parties and a thousand wholesale. It's pretty easy, you guys. The tracking sheets are down there below it. We are going to recognize all of our consultants at every event this year who is holding a five five or perfect ten. Start booking parties now. We did some recognition. Um, I'm giving out prizes for anybody that booked ten. By the fifth, who has 10 appointments on their day book? Jolie! Oh, I'm so excited. How many do you have? 13. 13. 13. Yes! Okay, so you have 2 more, 15? 15 appointments. Y'all, how exciting. Okay, Jolie, come pick a prize. So you can have the red um, reusable bag, or you can have the fuzzy um, keychain, or this is an NSD ring. 21. I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> 15 appointments. Y'all clap for that. Yes. 15 appointments. 15 appointments. Why? Because what does she want to do? What do you want? She wants to become a director. And so she's not doing this, is she? No, she's standing up, sitting down, standing up, sitting down. Focus, intentional activity. Who else has appointments on your day book? How many? Awesome. Yeah, y'all clap for Lisa. How many are? Awesome, come on up, you're number two. Another fuzzy keychain? Awesome. Okay, yay, I love this bag. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. And it says Mary Kay on it too. Okay, so let's go back to the Fab Five and Perfect Ten. Most people tell me, when, they, when I tell them what to focus on, their first question is, who am I going to get to book a party? Do y'all have that question? Do y'all have people that'll hold parties for you? Do facials? Y'all are nodding yes. So what do you need to do? Yes. If you don't give their name to me, I will go hold a party at their house. Okay? Shannon, do you have people that will hold a party? Yes. 
Okay, so on the back of this Fab Five Perfect 10 sheet, turn it over, and I want you to make a list of the people that you need to call when you walk out of here tonight before you get on the road. Who are you going to call at least five to ten names? Write their names down. Who are you calling before you pull out tonight? I'm just going to watch it. But you said you have people. I'll find them. <laughs> so do you have people right now in your contact list that will book with you? Not right now. Okay, so you're going to go on chat tonight? No, not tonight. Okay. Okay. All right. You don't know anybody? Come on, Sherry. There's somebody. There's somebody. There's not one soul I have met. Okay. On your Facebook page? Not a soul I have not contacted. I've been since when? Since when was the last time you reached out? Three months ago. Okay, great. Maybe a list. Everybody's life changes every six months. Yes, Lauren. Anybody? Anybody? You need that? That's like a new one. That's good. Lindsay Stewart said her mantra this year was leave no stone unturned. Go do every, what can you do with her? And what can you do with her? And what can you do with her? Can she give you referrals? She may not be interested in booking a party, but does she know people? She may not be interested in giving you referrals, but she would want to hold a party. You know, I did a jewelry party in my house, y'all. I saw $1,000 and there was 23 people sitting in my kitchen for that jewelry lady. This has been years ago, seven years ago to be exact, because I had a newborn. 23 people sat in my kitchen. She did not interview one person there. But y'all, they aren't trained like we are. They don't know. I wasn't going to go. You know what I'm saying? So y'all have the skills. Now you've got to get in front of the people and do the process. Okay? Who can you call tonight? Why am I asking you who you can call tonight? Do y'all know the main reason that people fail? Because they procrastinate. Y'all do it tomorrow. But y'all, if y'all ever look at a calendar, that is not a day of the week. But we all say, I'll, be, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll put that on my list tomorrow. Tomorrow, 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 and tomorrow never comes. And this list never gets done. Okay? You didn't think you had that many people? And you do! <laughs> Y'all, these are people that God will continue to put on your heart until you just call them. So Tasha is who recruited Virginia. And Tasha is somebody that I have scrolled past in my phone for a long time. And I'm like, she did marry code with me forever ago. She is not going to be letting me come to a facial ever again. For years, like four years, I've scrolled past her name. So I finally was like, Hey, Tasha, our boys play baseball together. I really want to come do a facial with you. Will you let me come and facial you and your little girl? She's like, sure. Okay. Signs up the next day, places her star order, sells 600 at her debut a week later, and recruits Virginia. So Virginia's life and future was contingent on me being disciplined. Are y'all with me? There are women every day whose lives and future are contingent on you being disciplined. That's a scary thought to me. It's kind of burdensome. So consider being disciplined enough because somebody else's life matters that you be disciplined. Okay? All right, you got your list? Okay, the next thing on the list, on this paper here, is Fall Retreat. Look on the left side of your page. Now, directors and DIQs who come to Fall Retreat, which is the first weekend of October, it's October 7th, 8th, and 9th. Okay, husbands are 30 bucks, consultants are 79. Okay, breakfast is included every day. All you pay for is your hotel when you get there. Okay, now we are only taking 150 reservations. We already have probably 30 or 40 in now. Okay, it's open to go give. Any and everybody is welcome to come. If you want to register tonight and save your spot, I will let y'all post date me a check. Okay, if y'all want to post date a check, Y'all can go save your check. You want to save your spot, okay? If you want to give me your card number and you want to tell me what day we can run it, I will save your spot in the 150 if you get it to me tonight, write it down, okay? But you got to tell me when we can run it. 
as long as I can run it by when is the deadline? Uh, event location Great deadline thing. to register September 15th. Okay? As long as we can run your card by then, I will hold you one of those 150 spots. Can okay. I let you know in a couple days about all my cards? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Is it five No, it's per month. Yes. Her question was, is the Fab Five Perfect 10 weekly or monthly? That's just 10 parties a month. 10 a month. Now, the reason I threw the five in there is because, you know, I did three a week forever. That's how I did everything in my business, three parties a week, three parties a week. I can track my Cadillac back to one speaker class in my house. I mean, I can tell you the class that changed everything when I was obsessed with three parties a week. If I've ever been frustrated in my business, I always go back to three parties a week and everything is fixed like magic. Y'all, because when you get in front of people, what happens? The fire rain goes, you sell more product, you get re-excited, then you start recruiting and you have new people on your team. It all works. Mary Kay Ash told us that people and connection are who we are. In and out catalogs is fine, selling online is fine, but if you want to build a strong Mary Kay business, you connect with people. These amazing women that are on this video are not going to take away what you guys get tonight by feeling the heartbeat of the room, okay? I love them. Some of them geographically aren't close and would be if they could be here. Some people had appointments and other commitments and blah, 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 and that's fine. But you guys, this is what will move you. Are y'all with me? This is what will make people recruit. You go meet them for coffee. Sit down with them at your kitchen table or theirs and talk to them face to face. You know, if I see somebody in the grocery store that I've been wanting to book, I will stop her and say, Lisa, I have been wanting to do Mary Tay Facial with you. What is your schedule like? And she says, oh, I'd love to. Instead of, oh my gosh, I got a text Holly back. She's asking about that facial thing again. And they don't, they do not intentionally ignore you. There's just other things in their life that have to be more of a priority. But if they see you face to face and they feel your energy, guess what? And y'all, instead of textbooking everybody gently, what do I tell you to do? I tell you to do what? Call. What? Call. Just 15 appointments because she picked up the phone. The world is texting them. They have a thousand text messages a day to read. And they have you calling them. You have to be different if you want to be received, okay? All right, how are we doing on time? Oh my gosh, I gotta hurry. Okay, so the other piece of this is we're doing a director DIQ lunch and learn um, with national sales director Kim McClure. You guys, Kim has earned $3 million in her Mary Kay career. Okay, Kim was the number one director in all of Mary Kay. She has traveled the world. She has made a lot of money in Mary Kay. I'm so excited to put her in y'all's space. So when you're a director or DIQ by Fall Retreat, then you are going to get to be at that lunch and learn with Kim. Okay, all right, let me keep going. I gotta keep moving, moving, moving. Okay, all right, next thing you guys. So the first thing for director fast was what? Focus. Next is achievement. What does achievement give you in your business? What does becoming a sales director give Lisa? Lisa, when you become a sales director, Mary Kay, what does that give you? Confidence, what is it going to give you, Jolie? Um, That's okay. What is becoming a director going to give you? Why do you want to be a sales director? Virginia, why would you want to be a director? Hard money, mission. <laughs> <laughs> Car, money, commissions, financial, choices. What else? Trips. Trips. What else? Helping other women. Helping other women. You guys, it all boils down to brass tacks. This will change your life if you will just stand up and sit down and not hover. Okay? So, Chateau Alain, it gives you an executive income. Also, as a new director, you're going to be invited to New Orleans with us. Okay? You're going to get this Vince Camuto handbag. You're going to get a $500 check when you get to New Orleans. I mean, that's pretty cool. You're going to get this check, or I mean, you're going to get this handbag and all this jewelry. I mean, y'all, I didn't get one doggone thing when I became a director. I didn't get money, nothing. Look, you get the jewelry, the jewelry, and the Vince Camuto handbag, and a $500 bonus when you go to leadership in New Orleans, and they give you another $500 at seminar next year. And you get to finish on the move and get 500. You get to finish Fabulous 50s and get 500. And then you get to finish your new director program a year later and get another 500.
That is $2,500 in bonuses just because you finished. I mean, I would get this done if I were y'all. $2,500, that's just, that's not one piece of commission that I talked to y'all about long ago. Not one dollar of commission. So you've got to decide and then jump. Hold your nose, figure it out, book the parties, and jump in, okay? And the jewelry is like gorgeous. Yes. Ooh, it is like the best prizes ever. It's so beautiful. Okay, all right. I'll make y'all be on video for a while. <laughs> okay, all right. So first, focus, achieve, be an achiever, get it done. Okay, next is be a seller. Okay, so I want y'all to draw a calendar for me. And Jolie and I just did this at our meeting a couple weeks ago. Draw a calendar for me. Now, the way I draw a calendar is I put a big square on the center of my paper, and I put three lines inside so that there's actually four rectangles, okay? So it looks like four weeks of a calendar. Are y'all with me? So draw a big square and put your lines in the middle. Okay, that's all I want to do. Line and then line and line. Okay, here we go. That's your calendar. Got it? Okay, now, on line one, I want you to write one, two, three. On box two, I want you to write four, five, six. Box three, seven, eight, nine. Box four, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three. Go down to the next one and do four, five, six. And then seven, eight, nine. And ten, eleven, twelve. Now, who knows what the company average for a Mary Kay party is? Three hundred. What'd you say? Four. Okay, it's between three and four. Between three and four. If you feel like you're a 300 or girl, you average 300. If you feel like you're more of a 400 kind of girl, you put 400. Okay? And I want you to write at the end of the week how much money you have sold for the week if you did three parties. Shannon, would you be a 300 seller at a party or more like a 400 seller? Okay, so 300 times three parties is how much in sales per week? 900. So I want you to write 900 after week three, um, the little three, 900 after the six, 900 after the nine, and 900 after the 12. And I want you to add all that up, Shannon. What is it? 3600 right? 3600 Now, one other thing that I talked about to Joe Lee, how many of you are doing Mary Kay full time? I mean, Mary Kay's your job. You're not working outside Mary Kay. Raise your hand. Okay. So raise your hand. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, so for somebody who tells me I want to become a DIQ, I'm telling them find 10 slots a week that they can work their business. And here is why. You do three parties and seven facials a week. What is your average facial sale? You might know? For yourself, what do you sell per face? $150 to $200. That's Sherry's number. So, Sherry, you have seven faces a week. How much are you going to retail? Add that up per week all the way down on your page. A lot of people are going to sell, as new consultants, $30 to $50 per face. I probably sell hundred. I probably sell about $100 per facial, and I sell about $600 per part. Okay, but those are my numbers. What do you think your average is? $25 to $50 per facial, or is it higher? If you're doing seven faces a week, Add that to your total. All right. So Lisa says that she's going to sell fifty dollars a face to her facials, and she's going to sell three hundred to her party. That's the company average. Okay. So Lisa, if you do three hundred, so that's fourteen hundred plus thirty six hundred is how much? Five thousand dollars in sales a month. What is your 50% profit? $2,500. Question, have I paid you $1 in commissions? Nope. Mary Kay Ash told us, if you will live on your sales, and you will save your recruiting commissions. You will become very wealthy, Mary Kay. What would happen? If you paid your bills on your sales, would you ever quit selling product? No. See, what I did was I started paying my bills on my national money, on my director money, on my commission checks, but I didn't have to sell product anymore because I had money. I was making six figures a year in Mary Kay, and I have since I was 24, always. So I pay all the bills on that. But what if I've been paying 
all the bills with selling product. How many new recruits would I have? I would have doubled my commissions all those years ago. Are y'all with me? You can't ever stop selling, and that paper right there is why. Because when I sit across from a new consultant like Virginia, and I draw this, and she goes, like, $2,500 kind of sounds pretty good right now. I'm just saying, right? It would change your house. Your husband would think you were real cute, right? <laughs> I always tell everybody, you got to give your husband two things. What are they? Money and money. The honey and the money, right? <laughs> and when you do that, y'all, they will be so supportive, okay? They will be so incredibly supportive. My husband's going to be so excited when I take him the money that I earned this week. I'm selling product to pay the bills. Even though I pay the bills, this is extra. This is something extra we want to do. Y'all you know, see what I'm saying? But when you show them that there is income to be made and you're not just getting cute, and leaving and coming home and happy, but you're really contributing, that is when they will push you out the door and say, honey, go make more. You can do this, right? That's what your husband said. He's like, oh, she can make all the money she wants to. That'd be great, right? That's how your husband is? Yes. Okay. Can I ask a question? Yes. Did anybody have a husband that was totally, totally opposite of supportive? <laughs> yes. yes. Um, and there's a lot of those. Um, and the and income it's just, on our family is, well, you quit doing Mary Kay, you have, you have this done or something. Right. And she and that's something, some bills with Mary Kay. Um, and that's just something that you and him have to work out. I can't intervene. Um, Lauren can't intervene. It's just something that you either have to choose to create support from him because you're making so much money and you're really financially doing a lot for the family. Um, because my husband called it Avon my whole first year. But how much did I make? Nothing. But the day that I finished my free car and I gave him seven $100 bills, we were just getting engaged, and he went and bought something for him, he never called it A-Money again. But he saw the $100 bills in his hand. And that makes a difference. You know, if I, all these years, had not been financially contributing, he would not be supportive. And he doesn't pretend that he would be. He would not be supportive at all. Not even kind of. A little. You know, I... You know, he knows my talent and my potential, and he believes that I can be great at whatever I do. But if I'm not going to really work my business, he wouldn't be supportive. So, you know, that's something that you and him have to figure out, where if you can just muster through it, if he's been, um, and sometimes it's protective, and sometimes they're frustrated with us. You know, but that's only something you and him can figure out. You know what I mean? That's hard. You know? um, okay, so focus, achiever. Seller, and what's the last for T for fast? You have to be a what? Team builder. Okay, so here's the deal. This is what I did a seminar with these beauties. As you continue to facial people in your Mary Kay business, some of y'all might feel that um, you might want to get discouraged. You might want to get frustrated. You might want to get a little aggravated that the process is not going as fast as you want. But here's the deal. You're going to buy yourself a deck of cards. They're $1 at the Dollar Tree. Okay, and you're going to take out the Joker, or you can leave them in, whatever. The Joker could be the heckler at the Mary Kay party if you really want it to be. Okay, but you take out the Joker, and then what you keep back are all of your um, face cards. Okay? So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to shuffle these cards up, and if y'all went to the Mary Kay party tonight, and how many people are in this room? Eight girls. So we're going to pretend like these are my eight senior classes for the month. Okay, I'm going to hold two parties a week. I'm going to sell product. How much am I going to sell per party? About $600 for me. So this is my first week of holding parties, you two girls. All right, and there's going to be six people at least a party. Let's do five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now I'm going to stay after the party. I'm going to ask these girls if they'd be willing to listen to the facts about Mary Kay. Okay? And I'm going to share the facts with them. Now, this is something that I didn't do with Virginia at her party, but I wish I had them. Because this is what she told me. I was trying to remember what you said about that thing, but I forgot by the time I got home. And this was a sheet that we had forever ago where it has four quadrants. And these are the four things you focus on when you tell people about the business. The first is money, cars, prizes, and flexibility. Okay? And they take their own notes, and they take it home with them. They take it home with them because if she had taken notes at my party and she would have went home to her husband, she could have explained everything, right? 
and she wouldn't have had to feel like, oh, I was so excited, and she said something, but I can't remember what she was talking about. Because they're processing so quickly, and they're so excited, and they're kind of going, oh my gosh, I can make this money, and I can make this money, and if you give them a pen or a colorful marker, and you say, here, take notes. Um, I think if you write in blue ink versus black, you retain way more information. Is that true? Blue ink versus black? I saw it on Pinterest, and I believe everything Pinterest says. Anyway, um, but if you write in blue ink or give them a colorful marker so that it's stimulating them, so they're paying attention, um, let them take notes so that they know what you said. Okay? Now, let me show y'all this. This is the other thing that I do at every party. After I did it for Virginia's party, at the very end, I say, okay, you guys, so at the end, I say, I've um, asked them what sets they want to buy. I asked them to write down if they want to do their facial on a weekday or weekend, and then I pull out my box. This is all just discontinued, whatever, old product, giveaway stuff. Sorry, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Okay, so then I say, if y'all are willing to listen to the facts about Mary Kay, I probably need to take this right out. There's all kinds of product in here. I always tell them y'all can shop for my fun box of giveaways and get a free gift tonight for your time. So if you're willing to just listen, Lisa, um, on number three, on your questions, I think that's you. Bring in, we can be for me, thank you. Um, then y'all can pick something out free if you're just willing to listen. Now at that party, everybody listened. That's not always the case. But let's pretend that all of them listen. How many people are gonna recruit in your team at a party when you share the facts with somebody? So a number card, it represents a person who I shared the facts with, but she said no or not right now. A face card represents a yes. Jacks, kings, and queens. Okay, there's 12 face cards out of the 52 deck stack of cards. Okay, so one out of four, if you interview them face to face, is going to say yes. So I go to party number one with Lisa. I share the facts with everybody at her party. I want you to read no, 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 yes, no. All no's based on number cards and only say yes if you got a face card. Correct. Okay, so say no that time. No, no. Okay, so I went to my first party and they all told me what? No. How many times? So y'all already count with me. We're going to say no five times. Ready? No, 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 no. All right, Jolie. No. Okay, so how many interviews did Jolie do before she got a yes? Ten. How many of y'all would have stopped on nine? Forget it. <laughs> this Mary Kay thing doesn't work. I give up. I'm quitting. I didn't like it anyway. Are y'all with me? But then I give another six cards to Sherry. And I give you four or five. And I give you four or five. And I give you eight. And I give you seven. And I give you five. At the end of the 52, guess what? The order in which the yeses come are going to be different for every 52, but the yeses always come when you get to 52. Are you all with me? Even if they're the last 12. I did 60 face-to-face -face interviews when I decided to win a Cadillac. 60. Individually. 1, 2, 60. The first 48 all told me no. All of them. The next 12 all said yes. It's crazy. But all my face cards were at the end of the deck, not at the beginning. And we get so flustered. So get you a stack of cards, find a place on your wall, and take a straight pin because they won't leave holes, and straight pin all those cards on your wall, put all the face cards at the top, 6, 12, and put all the number cards of the jokers at the bottom. And as you do interviews, if I interviewed Shannon, I would write Shannon, and I would write her phone number. And this is March or April or whatever month you're working on, okay? Shannon, Jolie, Lisa. Oh, Sherry signed. Sherry Golding. She's my first girl. Because you have to understand that team building is a process of math. That's it. It's lives. It's people. It's women. And you will sell product to make a buttload of money while you team build if you do it through the Mary Kay process. So here's what I use at a Mary Kay party or whatever. These are on my website, okay? Hollywood.com. Click on um, the pay setters program. Cruise into your power pay setters, okay? This is a recruiting network. There's Holly's and then there's a blank one, okay? 
Each of these women have earned over $9 million in Mary Kay. 9, 18, 27 million earned off of those three women. That's kind of a lot of money. I always show that and I start off with that because I want people to understand that we ain't playing. You can really earn cash, okay? I tell them why I started my business. I tell them what I love most about my business. And then I ask them why they think anybody would ever do Mary Kay. And they tell me the reasons. And then I talk about money, wherever that paper went. Did I pass it out to y'all? Or did I lose it? I talk about money, flexibility, cards, and prizes. Yes. Okay, you didn't okay. get it out yet. That's right. I didn't give this one out, but I can send it to y'all. Money, cards, flexibility, and prizes. If you want this piece of paper, you can make your own, y'all. Like, it don't have to be a big deal. If you want this one, write your email address on the back, and I'll email that to you. Okay? All right, so I talk about money. Here's my last teacher's paycheck. I have it on there. I talk about if you're just a person who sells just skincare. Because a lot of people, they tell me they can't sell color. They're not a makeup girl. But I ask them if they can run a washcloth. If you can run and operate a washcloth, you can be successful at Mary Kay. Y'all, if you just have customers who just buy 21 sets of skincare from you, each of our regimens, you will sell $34,000 in profit a year. Half of that is your profit. So that's how I overcome that objection. I talk about the prizes. I talk about the cars. I talk about the flexibility and why I love my business. And then I'm done. Talk about a $100 kit. It costs $100 to start your business. I keep kits on hand. If you want to sign tonight, I have a kit you can take home with you. And that's exactly what Virginia did. Okay? So they can get started right now and take yourself home with them right now. Feel like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay? So that's what you do. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Directors can order them. So if you're like Chelsea, she probably keeps an extra kid on hand. So if you sign somebody right away, she can go ahead and get the kit to them. Or if y'all, when y'all are working on DIQ, I recommend go ahead and buy a kit for 100 bucks. You can buy it from the company for $100. It's the same price a new consultant pays for it. But then that way, you ship their kit to you. And then you just kind of rotate them out so that you always have one. She signs, you can give her the kit and she can get started. You know, Virginia's goal is to sell, you know, get this first $1,200 of product sold, like, in the next two weeks. You know what I mean? So you can get them busy right away if they have that kit and product to give them. Okay? I also do a $50 sign in moments. If I interview somebody today and she signs by tomorrow, I mean, gives me the $100 and orders the kit by tomorrow, then I give her a $50 shopping spree. Your director may do that. She may not. Um, once you're in the IQ, I highly recommend doing that because it gets people to make a decision. Okay? The other piece of team building that you need, and I was so embarrassed I did not have this with me at Virginia when I saw Virginia at the party. I make copies of the Choices CD. Okay? You can buy Choices CDs. You can uh, make copies of your favorite CD or whatever, but put a CD and audio in because as soon as they leave the party, what will they do with that audio? Put it in the car. If I would have given that, did y'all do that when you got in the car? Did y'all put this CD in? Y'all did? So when she and her husband came to listen, they put the CD in right away. Okay, it's a picture of what they get and a picture of career survey of, you know, should you do Mary Kay? If this is what you're looking for, then maybe you should give it a try. So it's not tons of information. It's not, y'all, all my Up All, all the Falls magazines, I stick them in a recruiting notebook. I don't need all those magazines. I have a million. I put them in, and when I'm trying to recruit somebody, I give them an applause magazine. You put a sticker on it that says return to Holly. So when they're done with it, they can leave it on my front porch or whatever, and give it back to me, and I just recycle them. I have all the applause magazines in here. But guess what? The commissions are still hundreds of thousands of dollars a month that these women are making. Okay? All right, so let's review our fast, and then we're almost done. Okay, so why do you want to be sales directors? Tell me out loud. Money, cars, choices. Who y'all would like to give your kids a different life than you have? Yes. Virginia with her eyebrows raised. My husband says it means business with raise your eyebrows. Okay? All right, so focus. Y'all know what to focus on. Raise your hand if you're a lead and you're confused on what you need to do. You have to hold parties, sell products, rebook them for a color appointment, and then recruit. Y'all got that? Yes. What achievement can you achieve by being a sales director before Christmas? What will happen to you if you become a director by December 1st? Bonuses. By November 1st, you get to come to Chateau and Wine. 
you get a five hundred dollar bonus. You get the Camuto bag. You get the jewelry. Um, it's going to be amazing. And then you get to come to New Orleans with us and get your five hundred dollar check from the company. Like seriously. So you won't be down in the director and find person to New Orleans. No, by December first. Okay. Yes. December first is New Orleans. Okay. And then you have to be a seller. To do this fast, you have to be a seller, and then last, you have to be a team builder. The last thing I'm going to close with is the four-point recruiting plan. Who knows what that is? Okay. Say it again. Book, sell, cook. Okay. Anybody else have a guess? So the four-point recruiting plan is what Mary Kay Ash created to teach people how to build a team. Okay. First, ask your hostess to suggest a guest who might enjoy doing what you do. So I walk into Jolie's party and I say, Jolie, who is coming tonight that you think would love to do Mary Kay? Lisa, awesome. So I'm going to kind of be watching for Lisa tonight, okay? Then you tell your I story at the beginning of the party. That's part two of this four-point plan. Then you share the opportunity with at least one guest and your hostess at the end of the party. When? Not tomorrow. At the end of the party. This was Mary Kay Ash training. Y'all, people don't stay after parties and do the marketing. That's when people are freshest. That's when they're really willing to listen. It's like a Venus flytrap. Their mouths are open. They're ready to receive. And the last part is offer your hostess a special gift for every person she suggests who becomes a new team member. I do that. If you know somebody who would be a great consultant and they get started, you refer them to me and they sign up to some area, okay, you get a $50 shopping spree. Okay? All right, so let's recap. Y'all, um, our goal this year um, as an area is to do gold circle. Um, so we need 10 DIQs um, in our area all at all times this year. So that's what we're working on as an area, okay? So some of y'all get that and you're a part of that, okay? So basically um, this, I have this at seminar and I'm taking this with me to all of my events all year long. And y'all, if you didn't get a picture with me at seminar, you have to take a picture with me tonight. Okay, so what I want you to do, I'm going to give you a sticky note, okay, and I want you to tell me what is your goal to move up in Mary Kay? Is your goal to be a sales director, and if so, when? When do you want to be a director? Are you committing to be done by November 1st so you can go to Chateau Alon? Are you going to wait till December 1st so you can come to New Orleans? Um, what part of our area goal do you want to be a part of, okay? So I'm going to give y'all this. I want you to sign your name on the bottom of it and date it too. So everybody take a sticky note. All right. And then if I haven't gotten a picture with you, I need to get a picture with you. Bye, y'all. Thanks for coming.